What's going on with Saudi Arabia and football? This man is aiming to change the look of world football. A couple of weeks ago, a revamped Saudi Pro League was launched. With the country's sovereign wealth fund, PIF, who already own 80% of Newcastle United, taking over Al Itihad, Al Halal, Al Ali and now Nasir, the country's four biggest clubs. Along with this revamp, there is now significant investment for some of Europe's most famous players. Cristiano Ronaldo was the first to jump, joining Al Nasir at the beginning of this year, but then Karim Benzema and N'Golo Kante followed. Now, in what could be the most telling deal yet, Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves is set to join Al Halal for 47 million. Saudi investment is a lot wider than just buying players as it links back to the government's aim to host a reported 25 world championships across different sports by 2030. Saudi Arabia has been regularly scrutinized for its human rights abuses, criminalization of homosexuality and limits on women's rights. The issue of sports washing comes into play here, with fears this growing influence is a method by the Saudi government to gain further power, hoping to cover up the problematic parts of their society. Modern football is no longer just a beautiful game, it has become a centre for debates over geopolitical issues and moral dilemmas. Saudi's investment is only the latest chapter in this growing story.